Uh, can you talk about some of the technology on the flight deck, including the use of synthetic vision and, and the capabilities of this aircraft to fly in a next-gen type of environment? It's, uh, in terms of next-gen, we're aligned with all of the, uh, the requirements that uh, people are talking about, either today or in the future for next-gen. The cockpit is designed so that uh, if it's not already planned, it, it's adaptable to it. Um, the, the things like synthetic vision, uh, we're the first OEM to, to certify it, and it's, it's the sort of thing where on the display, when you suddenly have a rendered image of the world in front of you, um, you wonder what you did before. It's, it's that, that kind of feeling on the flight deck. It adds so much to the, uh, the uh, situational awareness of the flight crew that uh, it, it's just compelling. Once pilots see it, they want it. And so it's standard on the 650. And I don't think we're done with that. We've already, uh, we're already looking at what the, the next generation, or next version of that is, and what the database requirements are, what the computing uh, requirements are for that. Um, we combine that with the, with the enhanced vision, the infrared camera is another vision enhancing device. Those two are just incredible in terms of providing the pilot and flight crew with great visibility and low visibility conditions, night conditions, and so forth. For us, the value that he adds is, is the, the safety of the operation of the airplane. How much experience have the pilots thus far had in using a synthetic vision type of uh, flight uh, exercise are, in the simulator? There or are over 50 of them in service. Yeah. Okay. There, there are 500 in enhanced vision systems now in service on Gulf Streams, and, and uh, now 50, and, and uh, they're, they're being delivered uh, 550 and 450 today. What, one thing I might mention is, is what's going to be very important next gen is equipage. What what kind of components go on the airplane? What signals are sent out? What signals are received? The location, out all the things that you would want. Remember, there's a there's also a fundamental uh, point to be made about next gen that I think is sometimes lost on people is that when we start getting into uh, the, the environment, the subject of the environment, and consider, and many of you have been on commercial airplanes and you've been on whole patterns and you've been doing loops and circles and God knows what else, we've all been through it. What are you doing while that's happening? You're burning fuel and you're, and you're polluting the environment. Next gen and the equipment that'll be developed by the industry as well as with the FAA is gonna, is gonna start improving on that phenomenon. And I think fundamentally it's gonna have an impact on greenhouse emissions significantly. So Goldstream's already looking at equipment, it already has it. Uh, flight in the tight corridors, a positioning. Uh, it, it's really, we're, we're really very, very uh, keen on making sure that we're either ahead or at least equal with the industry in terms of what we do to equip these airplanes. And we've already started it. And, and I, think, yeah, I think you can see it just by going in the flight deck. Mm -hmm. 